Hello everyone, in this video we will discover how to recover the entire Google Maps history like locations, searches, points of interest, directions, and so on. Let's go! So as you can see, I have just opened the Google Maps app, and if I click in the search bar at the top, I have access to my recent history, and of course I can load more history, but you can see that I have definitely not the entire history on Google Maps. So how to proceed if we want 100% of the history? Well, it's quite simple. I go on the internet, on the website mapshistory.com. I've put the link in the description if you like, and I will click on Get My Google Data. Then I arrive at the official Google download website called Google Takeout to recover my data. From there, it is required that your Google account uses English as main language. If you are using a different language, don't worry, it's very simple to change it to English. Just click at the top right on your account icon, then click on Manage Your Google Account, then you go to Data and Personalization, now we scroll down to the Languages tab and click Click on it. Then we click on the little gray pencil on the right to edit. We click at the top to search for languages. We type in English and select. In my case, I have already selected English as default language, so I will just go back, but here you just have to click on Select, then you leave this page and return to Google Takeout. Then you scroll down a little bit, and in the Products section you will click on Deselect All. Then we will scroll down until we get to My Activity. Be careful, this is not Maps, but My Activity. Now I click on multiple formats, and then I click on HTML and choose JSON. Then I click on OK and scroll all the way down and click on the blue button Next Step. I scroll down again and click on the blue button Create Export, and there I arrive on the download page. Just refresh this page, and you will see that there is a text telling you that the export can take from a few minutes to a few hours, depending on the size of the data you want to export. Usually, when it comes to your location data, it's fairly quick. You can see that I have already received the download confirmation email. So I refresh this page again, and there I see that the download button is available. I click on download. It opens a new page. I click once again on download, and now I have a pop-up window to download the file directly to my phone. As you can see at the top right, the file has just been downloaded to my phone. This is a zip file. Okay, so now that we downloaded our entire Google Maps history, let's go back to Maps History and click on the big cloud button right in the middle. Then I click on Browse and choose the zip file that I just downloaded. I wait a few seconds and here we are. I have access to all my Google Maps history. It's sorted by years, so I just have to choose the year that I want and then the day. Once I have selected these two parameters, I have access to all the locations that I consulted this exact day. And as you can see, we can zoom in to pick out each single pin. When you click on it, there is a pop-up window with timestamps and a link to check the pin directly on your Google Maps app. There are three types of pins that Maps History can retrieve. I'm showing the first one on the screen. It's called Consulted Zone. When we display this pin on Google Maps, we see that there are GPS coordinates. It means that this is an area I've consulted, either because I opened the Google Maps application at this exact location, or because I navigated to this location. The second type of pins are called Routes. So here I choose a date in my history where I use the Directions feature of Google Maps. And when I click on one of the pins of the itinerary, you can see the pop-up window called Consulted Route. I can open this itinerary on Google Maps, and when I click on the search bar, we can see the departure and arrival addresses. It is very convenient when you want to recover a route that you have forgotten. The third type of pins we can retrieve are the consulted places. So here, for instance, we see on the screen a city I searched in 2020. Basically, I type the name of the city in the search bar. It works with cities, but of course also with any other type of addresses listed on Google Maps, like the restaurants, stores, companies, and so on. For instance, what I am showing you is the history of a restaurant research I made in 2017. And when I click on See on Google Maps, I access the restaurant's Google Maps page with comments and stars, phone number, opening hours, and so on. So if you are like me and you want to recover your Google Maps history, you have seen that this is not very difficult. You just have to follow this short tutorial. In my case, I managed to recover all my history since 2014, all the places I have been, each single pin triggered when I open the app on my phone. I also have all the directions and places I've looked for. In short, I recovered 100% of my history. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.